In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Well, my friends, here we are. Gathered on the cusp, the brink, the very entree, the glorious celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus, Christmas. Look around, and you will see that our lovely sanctuary is ready to celebrate the story of his birth in the Christmas pageant tomorrow at 5 p.m. Jane and Oliver L. and our children have been working hard to rehearse and prepare. We have greened the church. No lie, isn't it lovely? Dr. Gray Crawl has been preparing the choir. They have been rehearsing well and long. And the restored sanctuary that has been placed. Oh my. We are almost there. But first, I invite you to spend a few moments carved out of this most ridiculously busy time to consider two women, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and her relative Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, and how they came to share in this amazing story. Mary was just a young girl, probably 13 or so, and living in Nazareth, a young Jewish girl, betrothed to a good man named Joseph. Imagine her shock and surprise to have an angel of God come to her and tell her that she would conceive a son who would be God's son. And Elizabeth, older, who was barren, is also in her sixth month of pregnancy and will also bear a son. Mary, who is presented with all this confounding news, responds by saying, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. In the story, no one tells Mary to go to Elizabeth, but she does. And we can only wonder if Mary thought it best that she leave for a while this town in the hill country of Judea, where Elizabeth lived, was quite a distance from Nazareth. Yet Mary went, and Elizabeth greeted her with joy, her unborn baby leaping in her womb. Two women, one older, one very young. And yet these extraordinary circumstances bring them together for mutual support and encouragement. What if Mary fled to be with Elizabeth, knowing that she was experiencing her own extraordinary circumstance and needing someone who could help her process all of it in a way that no one else could? Two women supporting each other. Mary's response is so powerful. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. This beautiful hymn of praise reflecting the acceptance of promise of what had been thrust upon him. One can only imagine that a journey and an extended visit with someone who could support and encourage her would be exactly what was needed for both of them. It was a way for them to bring God's amazing gifts into focus as their pregnancies progress and a time for listening to each other, crying, laughing, wondering, praying, just what was needed. Elizabeth and Mary, two women in amazing circumstances, both who would bear sons, who would literally change the world, and who also would bear great pain. They needed it. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could do that for each other? What if our gratitude for God's presence in our lives manifested itself in bringing God into greater focus for someone or someones who may need that acceptance and understanding? What if we 
we dare to reach out to one another, to find a place in our busy, busy lives, to share our joy in living a life where God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit was our home. When we praise God with our lips and our lives, we bring that into focus for people who may not be able to see God, but they see us. When we, when we break out of our safety zones and follow through with a commitment to make the world a better place by becoming active in a ministry, committing our resources, placing ourselves in areas and ways that extend us, we bring love into focus. When we are obedient, and that's a hard word for most of us. But when, as Mary was, obedient to God, accepting what would be her life, remaining faithful throughout her life as a wife and a mother and a servant of God, we open ourselves to a life filled with challenges and possibilities and ways to show acceptance and to serve. And we open ourselves to love. The world needs us. And we need each other. Look around you. See the beauty of this sanctuary. May it bring you peace and joy. But know that you are needed outside of these walls to bring that same peace and joy to those who will meet you on your own life journey. Closed in the line from my favorite Christmas hymn, Love came down at Christmas. Love all lovely 